Good morning, GT Math World. Good morning, students, sixth graders, seventh graders, eighth graders, families. Um, so I'm gonna make some changes to how we're gonna do this distance learning thing. So far, it, I'm not sure that it's been working very well for me to collect work, and I think some of the work that I've assigned is a little too challenging to be doing at home alone. Um, you know, in, in nine years of doing this job, I've discovered that the work that kids do at home usually pretty much needs to be doable and that we keep that really challenging um, problem solving for in class where they have me as a support. And until we are able, if, if we are able to get online live, um, which at this point the district has decided um, that we're not yet, then um, we just need to kind of move forward in a way that makes sense that's best for kids. So starting today, I'm going to make a video explanation for every assignment and I will include that in the assignment. And the assignments will be um, kind of more skills based, more the kind of work that I've sent home as homework for a number of years. Um, and I will actually have a separate Google Classroom for anyone who wants to sort of stretch that. And in which case, and then that'll be totally by choice and totally outside of the 30 minutes required each day for math. Um, so I'll make sure that everybody has that link to that and that is optional. And hopefully there'll be some fun stuff in there and also opportunities for kids to get together and talk with each other about the work that they're doing. Um, so, so just so you know, every day, please, students, um, do the daily check-in. Most of you have been doing that. I haven't heard from some of you, so that would be great. It's just a quick first name, last initial, which grade are you in, um, so that I can see kind of who's doing math that day. I will post a new assignment every day in Google Classroom, like I've been doing, and it will include a link to my, YouTube, my brand new YouTube channel um, with a new video explanation. Um, the next morning, I will post my work for that assignment in on that as well somehow in Google Classroom I will post my work for that assignment um, and so what I would like you to do the following day is the beginning of your math work is to take your work from the day before and compare it to mine preferably you do it the way we've been doing it which is you just compare your answers to start then go back to your own work for any that are that are different than mine and check for mistakes, right? You, you do your own checking and correcting. If you really can't find a mistake, then compare it to my work and see if I made a mistake. I'm trying to check mine against the answer keys in the textbook, but maybe, you know, maybe I, we all know that I make lots of mistakes. So if you can find my mistake, maybe I'll send out prizes. Well, not real prizes, because I can't send you anything in the mail, but Somehow, we'll figure this out. All right, so compare your work, check it. Um, after that, check out the new assignment and get started on that for the next day, all right? Um, I'm gonna try to make assignments really doable in the amount of time that you have, but please let me know if they're taking too long, okay? I'm probably gonna make assignments much shorter than I have in the past, and, um, and that way they'll be doable in the amount of time that is allotted for math every day. If you want more, as I know some of you do, and some of these assignments will be very, very, um, very doable, pretty simple for you. So if you want more challenge, that's where you go. That's um, where you'll go to the other, the GT Math Stretch Google Classroom to find some more challenge. Um, about once or twice a week, I'm going to ask you guys to do something on IXL so that I can actually see some progress. Um, that I can I can view online rather than handing things in. We are not going to hand things in anymore. If you have a question on any single problem or any assignment, please post it in Google Classroom or email me as you already have been. And if you have a problem that you're trying to do and you really can't figure it out, then take a picture of it and send me a picture just of that problem and we can talk about it, okay? Not in person, but I can write you, um, send you a message or an email about that, all right? Um, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me. I am available every single day from about 7.15 until 2 o'clock. And then, honestly, I'm checking emails later than that, too. So I'm trying to do my best here. 
all I want you guys to do is do your best. Well, I just want you to really take care of yourselves. It's a great idea for us to keep learning math together, but um, really do what's best for your family. Do what you know is best for you and do what you know is best for your family. Get lots and lots of sleep. Remember, students, you need at least nine and a half to 10, maybe more hours of sleep per night. Take advantage of this. Okay, no one needs to be on at 7.30 in the morning. You're just doing three and a half hours of work during the day. All right, it's been a pleasure to show my face to you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.